Hello everyone, and welcome back to No Man's Sky. And we are still here at Hoshinawada, getting ready to fly over this planet one last time and see if we can discover where the very last of the creatures are hiding. So let's check and just, ah, there's just one more. There's just one more guy hiding somewhere through this planet. One more a large creature. And if I could only find it, that would be so amazing. So we're gonna be looking for some water today and it's gonna be really hard to leave this planet. But I know that myself and the crew of the Discovery are just about ready to continue on through the universe. We haven't even left the first system we've been at after all, so there's still quite a bit out there to enjoy. So today we're going to be flying over the planet in search of water and maybe even in search... Oh, there's a few interesting... So a few pieces of cargo that have been jettisoned by somebody. There's a ruin over there. We were just over at this spot, I believe, where the satellite is. The manufacturing facility. We've already been to the manufacturing facility, if I remember correctly. And, I mean, we could technically go to the ruin, but I am far more interested in seeing if there's any pockets of water hiding anywhere. Because our final guess on... Oh my gosh. Okay, hang on. That's kind of cool. Wow, that cave was really cool. Did you see that below us? Oh, that was awesome. All right, we'll look around a little bit more just to make sure we're not passing anything in particular up. Now, this area is looking very different, though. We have these little pockets of land. Okay, what the heck? Oh, that's just one of those beacon things. We should be doing okay. Yeah, we'll just check and make sure we're not passing over any specific biomes that might have an alien that we're really wanting to check out. But I am ready to move on and I am ready to make some new big discoveries because that's what this is all about. Discovery after discovery and just embracing the exploration. And I have loved doing that. Especially with all of you guys and your amazing ideas you've come up with. Alright, doesn't look like there's any water here. I'm not really seeing anything too terribly, too terribly unordinary. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Oh my gosh! Okay, we definitely need to cut the thrusters. Look at this! There's two lakes! Not one, but two lakes! Yes! Okay, land! <gasps> Whoa! Did you see that? Look at this! Look at this! There's water! You guys, this is so cool! This is what it's all about. These kinds of discoveries. Look at that. Where are we? There's a whole bunch of little pools of water everywhere. This is so fascinating. I really hope this is water and not acid. And I just didn't jump in a pool of acid. That would be a little bit concerning. Look at that. Wow, that's amazing. <gasps> Who's that? Do I know that creature? Do I know that creature actually? Or is that a new guy? Okay, I know that guy. He looks kind of like a snail from over on this end. Okay, I can't really see what he is from over here, though. So there's two lakes here. Look at this. What an amazing cave to come across while we're climbing up here. This is really... Oh, and there's even like a little mouth cave on the other end. And there's a bunch of plutonium just sitting right there. Oh, what the heck is that? All right, that is interesting. We'll have to go look at that, too. Man, I love just the constant sense of discovery and exploration that's everywhere. All right, so are there any living creatures inside of this lake? I don't see anybody in particular. There's a whole bunch of these rock things. There's some more of those little tentacles. Ah, oh, there's some of those guys. Okay, let's see if we can get up around this thing. Oh, it's that guy! We were just looking at it from the other end. Okay, so I didn't recognize it at first. And anybody in here? So it looks like this lake is a little bit too empty. Ah, oh, to encourage any life. But man, what a view. <laughs> oh, I love it. Oh, jeez. I thought that was going to be one of those bug creatures. And I was going to say, I don't love that. All right, so let's fly up here. So we found more water, but interestingly enough, there's not even any creatures in the big lake. Oh, and there's a whole bunch of those little creatures down here. Okay. Oh, calm down, life support systems. I don't need you fussing at me. Have I been over here? I have! 
have. We've actually made a big circle somehow. But I don't recall seeing this lake, but that's an activated knowledge stone, all right. Is that a spot I've been? For real? Really? If only there was a way to look at a map like of the actual planet, but there's a really cool cave over there. Isn't that cave just so awesome looking? Man, beautiful, just beautiful. All right, so I guess we've been to this this particular island. I don't remember, or this particular area. Maybe we were just on the other side? But we must have swam through it, because I mean, we've discovered, we've already discovered the things in it. And yeah, from this angle, okay, so we have been here. Oh man, I got so excited. But you know what, it looks really cool from the other side. And we didn't even know that there was originally a whole bunch of other water, like a secondary pond and all these little puddles over here too. And I don't see anything in particular. Is that something interesting? So a mystery that we could arrive at. Wow. I wonder if that's a moon. Maybe we'll fly up to that next. Apparently moons often host a lot of special life. And Hoshinawada with its bubblegum grasses has been very exciting to discover. All right, so let's jump back into our ship. Let's make sure everything that needs to be charged up is charged up. Launch thrusters, we're gonna fill you up with plutonium. So I'm not worried about our launch thrusters whatsoever. Life support, a little bit of plutonium. And then, oh, mining beam is actually running a bit low. Plutonium, it's the cure-all for everything. All right, let's get up in the air. That cave was more than slightly amazing. <laughs> and now that we're over here, I recognize this area. Fooey. All right. Well, we got super excited for nothing, I guess. Well, I wouldn't say for nothing. It was a great view from a different angle that we hadn't really investigated before. So we're going to speed things up. And I guess that's pretty much everything that's here. We can pop over to this ruin really quickly for any of those of you who are into archaeology. But then I think we might head out and we might head up to that moon that we were just glancing at. If that is a moon, maybe it's another planet, and we might start moving in between all of the different planets and systems, I mean. We might start moving in between the different systems and doing quite a bit more exploring. This is very relaxing. All right. Get a bit of a boost. These ruins were a little bit further away than I thought they would be. Maybe that's a good thing. Maybe it means that we will be able to slow down. Haven't I been here? I feel like I've been here. All right, I think that means we've explored pretty much everything that can be explored. Yeah, I've been here. Huh. You guys, you it just told me to come to the same place. All right. I think that's everything, you guys. I think we've explored Hoshinawada for as much as it's gonna have to offer us. And I'm a little bit sad about that because this is a beautiful place and I'm gonna miss it, but I'm ready. So let's jump on in and we're gonna take off and we're gonna head on to a brand new land. So where did that you, my friend? No? <laughs> Whoa, barrel rolls. Was it you? I don't think it was you. <laughs> kind of amazing to think we can look up into the stars and pick a direction to go in and then go in it. All right, so let's head out. I'm pretty sure I've been there. Activate galactic map. Galactic map by pressing M. Mm, that doesn't do anything at all, so I guess I need to get up into space first. <sighs> All right, D and A together to engage pulse jump. And have I been to this location? I don't know if I have. And I think I need the galactic map. There we go. All right. Five planets discovered by me. So that's what we've managed to pull off so far. And there are additional areas to explore. Like this one over here. Discovered... Wow, somebody else has already discovered this location? That's so surreal to me. So this is where we've discovered things. Somebody else has already discovered a location near us? That's so surreal. 
What if we go in this direction? Is that something I can do? Um, let's see. Is that... What if I want to go in that direction? Oh my gosh, it's been... <laughs> it's been so long since... Yeah, what if I want to travel this way? It's undiscovered. Alright, I want to go here. Is that how we do it? Oh my gosh, this is the first time. Maybe I didn't want to. Maybe I wanted to continue exploring the other planets. I think I've made my decision. Okay, our first warp jump. I'll see you guys on the other side. Oh my gosh. Wow. Can I, can I pulverize this and gather up? Oh, look at all the thanium. I can actually harvest these? Sweet. All right, more thanium. Okay, let's not accidentally shoot that ship. That's the least, that's the last thing I really need to do is cause some problems that way. Well, that's kind of a fun, oh my gosh. We're in a whole new system. Oh, pay attention, pay attention, Siri. Don't get so distracted. All right, so it looks like the Discovery is getting ready to land on a whole new system. This is gonna be interesting. I really hope that was just me and not someone shooting at me. All right, we have a lot of Thanium-9 now. So, an undiscovered planet right down here. Let's pop down and see what we've found, you guys. Lummi Ventatu. Oh boy. All right, I don't think this one's gonna have very much in the way of our normal... Yeah, I don't think this one's gonna have very much in the way of our normal flora and fauna discoveries, but... Oh, I could be wrong! <gasps> This is so exciting! Being on a whole new planet! Very exciting! Let's land. Look at these! They're so cool! This is awesome! Contaminated! Sentinels Limited! Uh, fauna! There's fauna on this planet, you guys! Oh my gosh! Alright, we're in an entirely new place. We are discovering something entirely new. I really want to go back. We need to go back to uh, to Machata, the very first system that we've been part of, actually. We need to go back to it, and we actually need to upload quite a bit of it, name it. Uh, Hoshinawada, I'm actually going to leave named as it is. So, hey now. Ho uh, Hoshinawada, because that just sounds so perfect to me. And then Cecil, I do want to just leave. I think we're going to leave Cecil. Uh, uh, dang it. I need to see how they spelled it. S-E-S-Y-L-A-I. So, oh, actually, if I just did it like this. I, of course, that's why I'm so confused. I'm renaming it, too. We need to name that one planet that we ran into that had, like, nothing on it, too. And Nomina Chata. I think I'm going to rename this system Nomina Chata. Uh, so let me go ahead and rename it. No me. Oops. Wow, that's totally... No Ming. Ochata, because that's what I keep calling it. There we go. So properly naming everything makes me very happy. So we need to go back because we had one more planet that I didn't notice I hadn't found that we'll have to go back to. But for now, we're on a very alien new planet. Look at this. Are those, is that, is that flora or fauna I'm looking at right there? It's breathing! Are you a plant? I think it's a plant! It's a radioactive soccer ball that's breathing! There's more of them over here! What the heck is this thing? It's like a spear! Alright, so there's something there. Let's scan this guy. And I think I actually have, if I go over to my suit, my exosuit, I should have a modification that would help me, yeah, would prevent radiation damage. So we need to gather up some carbon life forms from here. And then that will actually let me, oh my gosh, look at this plant. <gasps> They're so cool. But if I gather up some carbon, this is iron deposits. They look like coral pieces. I wonder if they're kind of like coral pieces that have developed over the centuries of different creatures dying and their exoskeletons building up a fantastic coral piece. Look at this. What is this? This is so neat! What are you? Man, this is fantastic. Oh, look at this guy. This is so cool too. 
There's definitely a lot of radiation. So we're going to look at this guy really quickly and analyze it. There we go. And then we're going to look at this one right here and analyze it. There we go. And then I am actually going to take a little bit of this. I'm so sorry. Is that giving me carbon? I'm going to have to cut this down. But it's actually for emergency purposes of being able to make that exosuit. Okay, the Gecknip uh, micro density fabric I'll just get rid of. We're going to actually make... I need just a teensy bit more carbon. Pardon me, I'm so sorry. So sorry about that. All right, got a little bit. Well, you know what? If the, if the sentinels don't fuss at me too much about it, I'm going to take this tree too. There we go. And then I need to actually make that new technology. So radiation deflection. There we go. And that should... Oh, look at that! Wow, that helps me out a lot. That's fantastic. Oh, this is so cool. What is that? It's moving. Oh, what's that? Oh, this is... Oh. Oh, my. Oh, that's plutonium. Oh, my. And that thing's bubbling. I don't think I want to fall into that. All right, that has to have some cool effects. All right, sentinels are trotting by. Look at that flower thing. It's just in a field of mushrooms. Now, that's really interesting. Oh, my goodness. Wow. So, our first radioactive planet... It's got quite a few interesting things on it, too. I don't want to go too far from my ship, especially because the radioactivity could cause some issues. But, let's see. Ah, there's the knowledge stone. Alright, so here's our knowledge stone. That's definitely what we wanted to run into. Maybe this can tell me a little bit about this planet. Nope, the Vikine word for interloper. And here is something to improve our shields. Wow! Having that radioactive, like, deflector is really helping our shields already. Alright, but apparently there are creatures here. There's a lot of creatures here! What? There's nine creatures on this radioactive planet that we need to find. And I don't know if I should be a little bit concerned about that. I swear it looks almost like a Dr. Seuss planet with those trees the shape that they are. Just spears that reach up into the skies. Ah, oh, I feel I feel so disoriented being out of our home system, to be honest. I kind of want to go back to our home system. Alright, anything over there? And I must have hit something just a second ago that made it so that... Was it this? Maybe? Huh, because I turned off the uh, overlay for just a second there. And actually, if that is something that works for, like, pictures now, tell me. Tell me what the controls are. Ah, ah. So I could turn off the overlay. That would be amazing, you guys. You know how much that would help me. Okay, let's see. Charge weapon, galactic map, pulse engine. Just let me let me check this really quick. Activate scan, activate zoom mode, torch. Dang it. Well, I must have done it by accident, and then I turned it back on. All right. No creatures over here. Aha. What's that, though? Can I scan it from... Oh, I was scanning it. Okay, hold still. Maybe all of the creatures, because this is a radioactive planet, are actually hiding... Hello? Maybe they are actually hiding down inside. Oh my gosh, look how cool these are. Maybe they're hiding inside of the caves. So we might need to go into the caves in just a second here, but I need to get back to over to our ship. All right. So, oh, and there's some berries. So we can go and gather up berries. <gasps> you guys, you guys, my scanners are picking something up. My scanners are picking something up. Oh, look, there's some more stuff over there. All right, let's go ahead and scan this. All right, so we're finding tons of flora that I can upload, which is very exciting. All right, and what do we have over here? Am I going to be running for my life any second now? Okay, it's right. Oh, my gosh. It has wings. Oh, my gosh. Where'd it go? You guys, we got to go check that out. Okay, up, 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 up. Up, 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 up. And what does a radioactive bird look like, eh? Where'd it go? Over here? All right. Oh, that's not a bird. Oh, it absorbs nutrients. Thanks, goodness. I was so worried. I was so worried. We just found some very, some very unhappy, very, okay, what is that? 
Uh, it's like a little crab. Look at you. It's like a little crab guy. Does he eat things? He's fearful and he absorbs nutrients too. So we just have some giant radioactive bug friends. I don't know how I feel about him. I'm gonna have to think about this. But we found some giant radioactive bug friends. So this is an interesting place. We'll definitely, after this planet, we'll head back to our home system because I want to explore. Is somebody over by my ship? No, that's just a sentinel, thank goodness. But we'll head back to our home system because I definitely want to be able to explore what's going on on the last planet over there. I didn't mean to accidentally dodge a planet. But we warped for the first time, so that's exciting. Though I've been told I might need to start breaking into... Oh, and it looks like there's some more tree things over there. Whoa, and I'm falling down a cliff. But it looks like there's some more of the tree things over there. Oh, those look totally different. Those look like nest. <gasps> okay. We're going to be checking all of this out next time. And we will be going back to our home system because I want to make sure we at least discover all of the planets and the systems we visit. Because otherwise, how will we make a comprehensive comparison of all the flora and fauna that are in each system? So, okay. And that's... Oh my! I startled one of those little guys. Well, you startled me too. Does that count for anything? Fearful absorbs nutrients. You look like a little scorpion crab. Fascinating. All right. So I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.